Hey y'all, today Chris and I are going to show you how we make crock pot ham and cabbage. All oh, while well, having a whole lot of fun. So I'll do the dishes. Just evenly toss this in here and that is... That's it. <laughs> Welcome back to my kitchen. We are cooking up recipes from RecipesThatCrock.com. That's my beautiful wife's cooking blog. And today we are making some crock pot ham and cabbage, which is a really awesome low carb dish, but it's also a really awesome leftover ham dish. So it would be great for the holidays if you've got some leftover ham, or if you do like we do, we cook up um, a big old ham and then we chop it up and we freeze portions of it so we can have ham for recipes like this too. Or let's say it's not near the holidays, it gives you a good excuse to buy ham and we love yeah. ham. Or when ham goes on sale. Yes. Now, now I was coming home from band practice the other night and I get home and I, I can smell cabbage and I, I like this I like the smell of cabbage. I thought it's something something's really good. So I'm like, hey what'd you make? She goes, Well I was trying out this ham and cabbage recipe that's just real simple thought we'd try it for the blog. So I make a bowl of it, I go upstairs, start doing some work, come back downstairs, grab another bowl <laughs> of it, go back upstairs. I think I had either two or three bowls that yes. night. It was just that good. It's very, very good and very, very easy to throw together. So what we start out with is a small head of cabbage or if like our grocery store they give you a great big head of cabbage we use like part of a head of cabbage that big and you want to chunk you want to cut it into like bite-sized pieces so that the cabbage will cook down um quicker than if you're gonna um leave it in big big ones okay so that's a lot of cabbage this is a um, seven quarts. Six, seven quart, yeah. This is a seven quart slow cooker. So if you had a six quart, you might even use a little bit of less cabbage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just salt and pepper this cabbage because that's a ton of cabbage. Uh, we're going to be adding uh, the ham and some chicken broth, which is also going to add some salt. So I wouldn't salt it like if it was just the cabbage. And let's say you just now start tuning into this channel and you're like, oh, that's great, but do you have a ham recipe? Yes! Go in the little playlist of crock pot recipes. There is a holiday ham recipe. There is a low carb yes. holiday ham recipe, which is what we're which using. Which is what we're that. using. Mm -hmm. If you're not low carb, we have tons of ham recipes all on the website. Um, this blog post should have links to all of it too. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the link down below, it's going to give you like all the different ways you can do everything. So with that, um, what we're gonna oops, what we're gonna do is Lock over the pepper. we are going to take three cups of ham or I like to even add a little extra ham so this is probably about three and a half to four cups of ham. I like to add a little extra ham too. <laughs> How are you doing? Clearly that's the motto <laughs> of my life. <laughs> so um, so I just like to add it to the top so it helps to season all of the cabbage. Smart. Yes and then we're just going to pour over that two cups of chicken broth and one stick of butter sliced up. So I'll do the dishes. Just evenly toss this in here and that is That's it. That is it. You just uh, put the lid on and which I don't know where it is. Oh, we'll, I got it. We'll get it here. I got it. Okay. Lid on. Yeah. You put the lid on, you cook it on low for five to six hours or until your cabbage gets nice and tender. Um because your ham's already cooked, so you don't really have to worry about that. It's mainly there to flavor everything. So in about five, six hours, um, we'll see you back here. I or can't. For you, we'll do it in the snap yeah. of a butterfinger. Three, yeah. two, one. And the time has passed. It's about five, five and a half hours, and you want to cook it between five and six hours, or at least until your cabbage gets tender. That's the way my wife says it. So go ahead, let's check this out. Oh. Yeah, ooh, hot lid. We just got through unplugging this and setting this over here. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yes. Ham, cabbage. Simple. Easy peasy. Delicious, so good. Easy peasy. I'm just going to look at the beauty in front of me. Most of the times I'm talking about my wife, but <laughs> right now I'm talking about dinner because that looks so good. Look at them big old chunks of ham. Look. Let's bring it to you. Would you like a bite? Look at them big old chunks of ham in there with all that cabbage. It smells buttery. Yes. Go for it. Let's go for it. Look at that. And cabbage the cabbage is tender. 
Yeah, your fork goes right through it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. Like I said, y'all, when she was testing that, two bowls. I had two bowls. Mm -hmm. I'd like to tell you what two bowls of cabbage does to me, but I don't think it's I appropriate wouldn't. for a cooking <laughs> show. Let's just say I almost slept on the couch that night, <laughs> but it was worth it because that is so good. And I don't know, you add probably what, maybe uh, half a teaspoon of uh, salt to that? Maybe a teaspoon? It all depends on how much cabbage you have. Because don't forget, the ham's going to add salt. Ham is usually cured with salt. And the broth is going to add salt. And depending on what kind of butter you use, your butter could have salt in it too. That. You can always add salt at the end. That doesn't need though. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. That is so good. Mm. Hey. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thanks. Hey. Good job. Thanks for sticking around with us. Yes. If you like what you're seeing here, give us a thumbs up down below. And also, if you have not become a member of the Crock-Pot, don't let me get in your way. <laughs> if you haven't become a member of the crock Posse, down below is the little subscribe button. Click it and you're automatically a member of what we call our loving members of the crock Posse. Also, click that little bell next to it called the... Dingling. Yeah, that's right. And we'll let you know as soon as we put up a new video. And whatever you do, laugh often. Eat good food. And speak life. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all. Do it again. No. You were recording. Chris and I are going to show you Abby with a hermit, 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 hermit. Today, Chris and I are going to show you how we make our slow cooker ham and cabbage. Oh, I'm having a whole lot of fun. <clears throat> hey, guys, welcome back to my... <laughs> I was wondering. Sorry, I thought you were doing numbers again. <laughs> <laughs> Today's episode is sponsored by the letter three. <laughs> the letter three. <laughs> okay. You're not funny. Hey everybody, Mikey's the best husband in the whole wide world. How do you like my hair? Ooh, I so pretty. I so pretty. Michael. I so pretty. I'm somebody special. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, like the Patreon, link below.